the Redmi Watch 4 is running the all new Hyper OS. It has a widget interface which looks really cool. With GPS on board, you can see the full map of your workout on the phone. Hi there, truly excited for this one. Here is the all new Redmi Watch 4. And it's a huge upgrade from its predecessor, the Redmi Watch 3 Active. We finally get an AMOLED display, then we get built in GPS support. Well, actually GNSS, which has far better accuracy compared to GPS. Then we have Bluetooth calling, then we have 518 water resistance rating, Xiaomi's all new HyperOS on a smartwatch for the first time, and so much more. Now, this is a global unit that we have with us. We'll share all the details towards the end, the pricing and how you can get this. So without further ado, let's quickly start with the unboxing. So here is the retail packaging of the Redmi Watch 4. And we also bought two extra straps with it, the green color and the blue color. But we'll start with the watch itself. Here's the image of it. On the side, towards the back, you can see some of its specs. There's a gray color. On the side, some Chinese details. Here are some more features mentioned here. So let's quickly open it up. Right on the top is the watch itself. And finally, the Pogo pin charging cable that magnetically aligns and attaches to the watch charging terminals. The magnets are pretty strong, so they won't snap off easily. Let's open up the straps and we'll start with this blue one. There you go, light blue. This is like really, really pastel blue. Very, very nice looking color. And there's also a user manual and documentation on how to fix it. Let's open up the green one. Just like the blue one, we have the straps as well as the user manual. Now here are those straps actually, both are very nice pastel looking colors, the blue and the light green. And the good thing is they're not very vibrant, so you won't get bored of them very easily. All right, let's have a closer look at the display, but first we'll get rid of the screen protector. There you go, wow. Now the first thing you can notice is that this has a completely flat display. Unlike most smartwatches that have a curved display, this is absolutely flat. Looks really nice and unique in fact. Now, if you look closely, the top part of this chassis is metal, but inside it is plastic, but still really nice matte finish. So it won't attract any fingerprint or smudges. On this side, you can spot there's a single button. This is also a rotatory crown. The strap quality is really nice, soft silicone straps. Now this comes with a button buckle design, which basically doesn't need a buckle. You can just press it and it will lock. Really, really nice. Quality is really good. Moving towards the back, the back is made of plastic and you can spot the heart rate sensor, aspirator sensor, the charging terminals at the bottom. And if you look closely, you can also spot the speaker here, which is gonna assist you for phone calls. Really, really good. Extremely, extremely well-built watch. Now let me show you how you can change the strap. Now you can see there is a small spot here. You press this and pull it out. There you go. Press and hold. Now what we'll do is we'll attach these green straps. So now what you do is press this button, align the strap here, and they will lock inside. Similarly, the other one, press and attach. There you go. Wow, this also looks so nice. Now I also bought actually the light blue one, which will also attach in the same way. But the reason I'm not attaching them is they're actually very similar to the gray one. There's barely any difference. But anyway, you can pick the blue ones as well. I'm actually liking this green strap. Looks so nice with this matte silver finish. Amazing. The Redmi Watch 4 comes with 5 ATM water resistance rating. So you can wear this watch in the pool without worrying about any kind of water damage. In fact, it also supports many more water activities, including snorkeling. I mean, you can't ask for more. So we booted it up and we were greeted with the Xiaomi's Hyper OS logo. The setup process is fairly simple. Download the Mi Fitness app on your phone. Now, since we're using a global variant, make sure you select region as Hong Kong. All right, let's have a closer look at the display. Now, as you press the button from the side, the display will wake up. And this is a 1.97 inch AMOLED display with a resolution of 390 by 450 pixels. Now that's a super high resolution display, which is why even the smallest text here is easily visible. And of course, AMOLED display, which means super vibrant colors and pitch perfect deep blacks. Absolutely amazing. I'm really glad that Redmi has moved to an AMOLED display, especially after the LCD display on the Redmi Watch 3 Active. Now I know a lot of people want to know about the bezel, so we'll change the watch face, we'll click and hold here. And this is a watch face which basically goes edge to edge. Now here you can see that the bezels are not very thin, but they're not very thick either. So the best idea is to use watch faces that come with a black border, which completely gives the watch a seamless look because it's an AMOLED display. It just blends in. 
Now the other good thing is that the other watch faces are really good and they're interactive watch faces. Like for example, if you click on this gallery button, you can actually access your activity of the day. And if you click on this workout icon, it will actually take into your workouts, which is so good. By the way, you can use this crown to scroll and it's so smooth. It also gives you a vibration feedback. So Redmi claims 600 nits of peak brightness. We briefly tested the watch outdoors and as you can see, it's very clearly visible. So it's perfect for outdoor workouts and activities. Now if you go into the about section in the settings, here you can see it's running Xiaomi's Hyper OS. The benefit is now you get true 60Hz refresh rate. It's buttery smooth and extremely well optimized for this watch. Now if you swipe right, you can see it has a widget kind of an interface. You can see the weather, you can see your sleep tracking, your running outdoor can be activated directly from here, heart rate, SpO2, breathing pattern, stress tracking, your 7 day progress, then you can access your alarms, your timer, the music that's playing, everything can be adjusted instantly. If you swipe from up, you can see your missed call alerts and notifications. If you swipe from down, you can access your quick toggles. You have the do not disturb, ringer can be turned off, raise the wrist to wake the display, settings, torch, find your phone. You can actually even use this to clear water from the watch when used after swimming. Then of course, battery optimization. Then you have uh, five minutes display can be turned on. Like for example, if I'm gonna review it, I'm gonna turn it on. If we go into the settings here, you have watch faces, here they are, about 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. About 7 of these come pre-installed. Diving in further into the settings, you have display settings, you can control the brightness, auto brightness, so you can turn it off and manually set it as well. I would say choose auto as it would increase the battery life drastically. Then auto lock time for screen, raise to wake, screen on time, cover to sleep, tap to wake, always on display. I know a lot of people really love this feature. You can turn it off, you can go to smart option, but remember it will drastically impact your battery life. If you turn it on, I'll just show you the watch face. So actually the always on is already there. You can see the time, it's 4.39, it's a digital clock. It's not very bright, which is why battery drain will not be enough. But sometimes it could be hard to see the time when outdoors. So that could be a drawback. Then further down, sound and vibration, you can choose silent, you can choose ringtone, do not disturb, notifications, there is auto detect workout. So basically you can turn it on and there are six workouts that the watch will auto detect when you're working out. Like walking, jump rope, rowing, cycling, elliptical training and running. But of course, it will also impact your battery life if this feature is turned on. But it's good to have that. Then there's also pin lock which basically is setting a six digit password for your watch. So whenever your watch is lying around, no one can kind of access it. It's always a handy feature to have it. Then layout you can choose from grid style to list style. I personally prefer list style, battery, system, about. Now if you press this button, you can access the menu. You have workouts, you have history, running, training state, stats, heart rate, vitality, SpO2, sleep tracking, stress tracking, breathing exercise, weather, calendar, events, tasks, favorite contacts, phone calling, music control, then the camera shutter, you can set alarms and yes, you can actually set the alarm time directly from the watch itself. Very, very helpful. Then there's a focus mode, which means suppose you're going in for a meeting. So what you can do is just go to the focus mode and turn it on. Now what is going to happen is there's going to be a 25 minute timer where there are going to be no notifications and disturbances on the watch. So really, really handy. Then you have stopwatch, you have timer, you have world clock, you have the compass. There you go. Then you have find phone, your flashlight and settings. Now overall I can say the user experience is top notch. And now with HyperOS, it's extremely well optimized. Battery life is going to be amazing. 60 hertz refresh rate, it's super cool to use. Let's quickly check out phone calling. So to make phone calls from your watch, go to the menu, go to the phone calling app. You can go to the recently dialed numbers or you can go to the dial pad, which is randomly dialing a number and clicking dial. And there you can see the phone is being called. The audio you can hear right now is coming from the watch speaker, which is decently loud. You can talk directly using your smartwatch now. Of course, you can mute the microphone and end the call directly from here. Talking about the call quality. Well, the speaker is loud enough to be used indoors. However, outdoors, you might have trouble hearing the other person, especially if you are in a noisy environment. The mics do a really good job as the other person had no problem hearing. Then we also receive WhatsApp messages on the watch and it's quite clear. There's no way to reply. You can only dismiss it. You can also receive WhatsApp calls directly on your watch. You can choose to reject or answer the call. You can't make calls from your watch using WhatsApp, 
But in case you have a missed call on WhatsApp, you can call back using your watch. It's so convenient. When it comes to fit and comfort, the straps are really soft and comfortable. The watch weighs just 31.5 grams, so it's also really light to be worn all day and even at night to track your sleep. The Redmi Watch 4 comes with the all new PPG sensor. It helps you increase the health monitoring accuracy. So we first tested the heart rate, we got the readings, then there's a breathing app too, then there's a stress app, we tested that too, and finally there's also SpO2. Now, even though it has one of the best sensors, I would still say, use these readings just for your reference and not for medical purposes. Coming to fitness and workouts, so the Redmi Watch 4 comes in 150 plus workout modes. To access it, press the menu button, go to workouts, here you'll see walking, outdoor running, freestyle, hiking, outdoor cycling, treadmill, jump rope, pool swimming, yes there's also pool swimming on board, then in more, you can see other water sports and there is a huge collection of water sports also available. Water polo, water skiing, kayaking, rafting, rowing, fin swimming, diving, artistic swimming, snorkeling, my god, there is everything that you need is here. Then if you go back, there are outdoor activities, more training workouts, dance workouts, combat sports, ball sports, winter sports, recreational sports, card and board games and other sports. So we use the watch for an outdoor run. On the top left, you can see the GNSS signal. It increases and decreases depending upon the signal level. For those who are confused, GNSS compatible equipment use multiple navigational satellites like Galileo, like GLONASS, like Bidu, and even GPS for more accuracy and reliability. After we finished our workout, you can see all your workout info, including the map on the watch display itself. Check that out. Of course, if you want more detailed info, you can refer to the app for that. Coming to the battery. So the Redmi Watch 4 comes with the mammoth 470mAh battery that will easily last you 20 days with typical use. Best part, Redmi claims 10 days with always on mode turned on. It's unbelievable. Now keep in mind these numbers might differ depending on your use. But I can confidently say the battery life on the Redmi Watch 4 is solid. Easily 10 to 12 days with casual use. Let's quickly check out the Mi Fitness Companion app. So right on the home page, you can see your health and workout related data. Right here is the activity of the day. Then here you can see your workouts. If you click on this, it'll actually show you the map of all your workout in detail. And further below, you can see even more details like the distance, the calories burned, the heart rate, whether it was a light workout, intensive workout, pace, training effect, all those in detail here, which is really, really good. Then if you move below, you can see your sleep tracking details, your heart rate, your step tracking, calories burned, how much you moved, standing details, blood oxygen levels, stress levels, so much more in detail right here. Then if you come to the second tab, you can actually use your phone's GPS for your outdoor tracking as well. You can use it for outdoor running, you can use it for walking, outdoor cycling, there's treadmill, you can do your workout, everything in detail will come here. If you come to the third option, you can see that the Redmi Watch 4 is paired, remaining battery, app notifications. Here you can choose from which apps you want notifications and from which apps you don't. Now, since this is a Chinese variant, most of the apps that you see here are not the ones that we use. So, of course, when this comes to India, we will see WhatsApp and all. Yes, you do receive WhatsApp notifications. All you need to do is turn on others. Then you have incoming call. You can turn this on. Heart rate tracking. You can turn on continuous heart rate tracking. It will give you notifications, sleep tracking, blood oxygen levels, stress tracking, standing. And if you come into profiles, here you can see competitions, connected apps. So you can share data with Apple Health since this is an iPhone. And of course, you can also share it with Strava, which is really good. Overall, this is a very simple, but yet at the same time, very detailed app about a workout and health. All right, final thoughts. So the Redmi Watch 4 brings everything that was missing on the previous Redmi Watch 3 active. It's a lot more feature packed, it's a lot more good looking and it has a longer battery life. I can't wait for you guys to get your hands on this one. Sadly, it's not available in India yet, but you can order it from Hong Kong for US dollars 107, which roughly converted comes to around eight and a half to 9,000. There was no custom duty applied when this was delivered to me, but I cannot say the same for everyone. So keep that in mind. I also wish I knew when this would be available in India because after watching this video, I'm sure many of you are looking forward to this one. I'll keep you posted about its availability in India. Make sure you follow me on Instagram and Twitter. The handle name is Mr. Tech Singh. So I hope this video was helpful. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. 
Until next time, cheers.